Windows has the built-in ability to function as a VPN server using the PPTP protocol. In this video, let's see how to create your own home VPN server in Windows 11. To create a VPN server in Windows 11, we first need to open the network's connection window. Here, press the Alt plus F key to show the full menu and select the new incoming connection option. Select the user accounts that will be used to connect to the VPN server remotely. To increase security, I'd suggest to create new user accounts just for VPN logins. I already created an account, so I'll just use that one. On the next page, select through the internet option to allow VPN connection over the internet. Now, select Internet Protocol version 4 for incoming connections. Click on Properties. Check this option if you want to allow VPN users to access your local network from anywhere over the internet. Then, specify the IP address range from the VPN clients. I'd suggest you use a high order range of IP addresses to help avoid network conflicts with local devices. As you can see, my network's DHCP range is 100 to 199. So here, I can set a range of IP addresses from 180 to 190 for VPN clients. By setting an IP range, you are also configuring the number of clients allowed to access your VPN connection. You can enable this option to allow VPN users to have access to the shared files and printers on your local network. Finally, click the allow access button. Now the VPN server has been created, but it won't work until you configure the Windows firewall and your router to allow connections. To allow VPN connections through the firewall, please follow the steps. Open Windows Defender Firewall. Click Allow an app through Windows Firewall. Click the Change Settings button. Scroll down. Then allow the Routing and Remote Access option for both private and public networks. This feature is used to allow incoming VPN connections. Next, to connect to your VPN server over the internet, you will need to set up port forwarding on your router. So, log into your router's admin panel. Go to the Forwarding section. We need to forward port 1723 to the IP address of the computer. In the security tab, if your router has an additional setting of PPTP VPN connection, make sure it is enabled. To connect to the VPN server over the internet, you need to know your router's WAN IP address. This WAN IP would be your VPN server's public IP address. Remember, the WAN IP address should be a public IP. If your WAN IP is private, that means your ISP has put your router behind other NAT devices. In this case, you won't be able to connect to the VPN server from outside your network. Also, if your WAN IP is not a static IP, then you have to set up the dynamic DNS service on your router. It will ensure you can always connect to the VPN server even if WAN IP address changes frequently. So everything is set up. At this point, your VPN server is up and running and ready to take incoming connection requests over the internet. If you want to disable the VPN server in the future, you can simply return to this network connections window and delete the incoming connections item. Now I am on my other computer and I am connected to a different network. So let's see if we can connect to the VPN server over the internet. Windows has an inbuilt VPN client feature, so we do not need to download any third party software. Simply open settings. Go to Networks and Internet page, click on VPN. To start a new connection, click on Add VPN. On this window, you can configure your VPN connection. Start out by selecting Windows built in from the VPN provider drop down. Provide any name for the connection. Then enter your VPN server's public IP address. Or you can enter its dynamic DNS address if you set up a dynamic DNS service. Select Point-to-Point -point Tunneling Protocol or PPTP. 
Select username and password for the sign in type. Now enter the username and password that you created during the VPN server setup. Click save. Once the VPN connection is created, you can click the connect button to establish a connection to the VPN server. Once you are connected to the VPN server, you are able to access your home network from anywhere all over the world. So when you are at work or traveling, if you can connect to the VPN server located at your home, your web activity will be associated with the public IP address of your home network, even though you are not physically located there yourself. And another benefit is that you can remotely access shared files, printers and other devices on your home network.